So to analyze this, so we know what this function does. It's going to give us, um, you know, a length 16 list uh, counting from 0 to 15 in binary, uh, or 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1. That's essentially what's happening here. So we can think about this in a number of ways. Um, we can analyze this list through the lens of um, its numeric value. And just like we did with the alphabet, we can assign a numeric value directly to this list, or, or sorry, to each binary. Okay, and let's do that. So um, let's make a function called, um, what should this be? Uh, let's call it uh, binary, uh, binary dec for decimal um, dict. And we'll pass in a binary list. Um, so you might notice that I'm reusing this name. That's a practice I, I take on. I, I do that because I know that this parameter is not the same as this variable. Okay. That this, uh, this, whatever's returned from this value bin list is not, uh, the same, this namespace, this name space, right. Is a different namespace from this. And it's a different namespace from this. I could call this something else, um, but you know I could call this binary list, right? But I'm not going to. I'm going to stick with bin list. It's nice not having to make a whole bunch of new names for things, especially if it represents the same exact uh, type of value. So binary uh, decimal dictionary. I'm going to, like I did before, declare an empty dictionary, and I'm going to say for um, uh, binary in bin list. Um, nope. In bin list, I actually want to enumerate this. So for uh, val binary in enumerate bin list, I'm going to set the key to the value, the decimal value. Okay. So maybe I'll call it dec instead. And I'm going to say, well, d sub dec is going to get that binary list. Okay. And this is just, uh, that looks like it's going to work. I'm just going to return D and let's print the, actually let's, um, uh, let's make a, let's call it that for a binary dictionary. And, um, actually let's call it that. And this is going to just get binary deck dict of bin list. And then I'm going to say for key value, this is convention for key value in uh, the bin D dot items. Um, items just gives me access to the keys and values. So I'm going to print the key and I'm going to print the value. And let's see what that does. There's probably an error. There's not an error, which is cool. So uh, I'm going to make this just a little prettier. I'm going to make this an F string. Oops. And uh, the key and then the value. And close that off. Oops. And need the key. So we can look at this in a way that's immediately understandable. So this is, uh, you know, this is like a simple analysis that we're making right here. We're saying, okay, well, what is the binary equivalent? Sorry, what is the decimal equiv equivalent or the binary equivalent to a decimal number, right? What's the decimal equivalent to a binary number? Um, you know, 12 is 1100, right? Uh, pretty straightforward. We could uh, make this binary list longer by adding more for loops, but we're not going to do that. Um, I'm going to show you another way to make binary. And um, that approach is going to be more helpful to you in general because you can make an arbitrary length list through a sampling approach. 